Hey, what's up everybody, Adobe Masters here. And today I'm gonna be showing you how to blur a specific color in Adobe Premiere Pro. So you can see that we're really blurring the oranges a lot. There's a little bit of a green blur in there and we're not really touching the ocean or any of the low lights. So we're sort of choosing the area that we want to blur. And so that's gonna be the effect today. We're gonna be going over two techniques to pull this effect off. So the first thing we need to do, create ourselves a sequence, grab our footage and drag it in. And then now we have the working footage going right here with no blur. We then need to hold the Alt key and drag up, and that'll create a perfect duplicate of the bottom and top layer. Essentially what we're doing is we're gonna be adding the blur to the top layer and then having it filter down. So the first easy way to do it is if we go into our effects tab, and then we're gonna search for blur, and then channel blur is the one that we want. So we're gonna put that on the top layer. If we go up here and we increase the red blurriness, you're gonna see that a couple of things happen here. The red does get blurry, but sort of at the expense of the blues, the opposite color of it. So if, even if we click the repeat edge here, there's still this blue area right in there. So we're gonna go up to the blend mode. This is on the top layer. We're gonna go up to the blend mode and we're gonna go down to lighten. And what that's gonna do is it's going to just filter the blur down a layer. And so now we have the base layer that's providing the color for everything that's not blurred. And we have the blur layer, which is providing the blur. And so there we have it. We have a, a single red blur and we can, you know, go in there and blur the blues a little bit as well. And now we have this sort of uh, red and blue combination blur and it looks really neat. It actually creates a really cool ambient glow here. However, we don't have a lot of control past this. We don't have the ability to create different types of blurs or directional blurs or, or anything like that. And so that is what we need to do in certain situations. So this is the other technique. Instead of going to channel blur, let's delete that out of here. We're actually going to go to the top. We're gonna to keep that lighten on the blending mode and we're gonna go over into Lumetri Color, which is under the color panel. If it's not there, you can search for it in the effects and drag it up like so. Or if you're on an older version of Premiere Pro, just search for RGB curves and you can drag that on. We're then going to go down into those RGB curves and we're going to change these values. To see it better, let's go ahead and just turn off this bottom layer. That way, whenever we make a blur, we can see exactly what we're doing. So we're gonna take the, let's say we wanna blur the reds again. So we're gonna take the blues and we're gonna drop them out. We're gonna take the greens and we're gonna drop them out. Now you can see all that's left is the red channel and it's not gonna really blur the blacks. So anything that's black isn't really being touched. Let's say that we don't wanna blur everything in here. We wanna only select maybe just the, the highlights. So we can take this and we can drag this down and now you'll see that we're really only grabbing the highlights here. We then go into our effects and we look for a blur that we wanna use. In this situation, let's use the directional blur. Over here, I can change the blur length and the direction. Let's say we wanna go like so, and maybe make it a little bit longer. And now if we turn on the bottom layer, you'll see that we're just grabbing the red and we're actually stretching it out across. It's a subtle effect here. And there isn't a lot going on because we're kind of blurring this this way. So if we change the direction a little bit, you'll really start to see that blur. So now you can see if we change it maybe in sort of more of the direction with the sun here, we now have this sort of ambient glow in the background, as well as it looking like there's some light rays coming over part of the land. It gives it a nice little atmospheric tone to it. And we can increase or decrease this to sort of change that effect up. But now we have full control over a certain color. And if we wanted to add some other effects in, we can of course maybe like bring the greens up uh, on the lower values. So if we drop this out, we just look at the background. You can see that in some of the lower values, we're adding just a little bit of that green in there. And therefore we're adding a little bit of that the green blur too. But we can do anything that we want over here and select sort of different parts of the image that we want to apply a blur to. That is two different ways to blur a color in Adobe Premiere Pro. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go and dump in the comment section below or on our website at adobemasters.net. If you want to see more videos, similar to this one, go ahead and that subscribe button and make a video every other day. And until next time, guys, see ya.